Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to discuss the Google Map in Data Studio and more specifically we are going to discuss about the field map in Data Studio and we are going to create this field map from scratch in this video. Before we go ahead and start creating this field map, you might be thinking that why do we need to use the Google Map in our dashboard but believe me, adding Google Map to your reports will give your viewer a familiar interactive environment where they can explore more about geographical data. Google Map and Data Studio are highly customizable and it can integrate with any data source that contains a valid geo field. And most importantly, people like map visualization because they are easy to grasp, it's visually appealing and very entertaining. Maps are widely used to highlight particular regions that are notably or specifically different from other regions. As you can see here, China is specifically different as compared to India or as compared to Mongolia or Kazakhstan because it has the most number of internet users in the entire world. So that's how maps helps you to demonstrate the trend over numerous location in a single piece of visualization. So you might be thinking that what is a field map? So let me tell you, the field map allows you to plot your data over a geographical areas such as countries, state, zip code, continent, etc. appeared as a shaded region on a particular map. This simply means that each shaded region on map is plotted based on its geo coordinates, which is either the latitude or longitude. The density of this shaded region represents the value of the chosen matrix. The higher the value is, the deeper the shade of the color will be and vice versa. So the next question that should be in your mind is that how field map works. So field map or in general Google map charts allows you to visualize the location data in Google Data Studio based on two layers. The first layer is the background layer. So this is the background layer on which this map has been created and then there is a data layer. So this data layer displays the data as a field area. So you have a data says that China has this many number of internet users and based on this data this area of China has been filled in this particular color depending upon your configuration. So in data studio we have the luxury of controlling the presentation and the appearance of the map chart such as the color theme of the base map or the size or the color of this entire filled map area. And all of these configurations are available within the chart property. So that's being said, let's go and create a field map in Data Studio. So before we go ahead and create this field map, let's go and see the data. So we have our data here. And in this data set, we have country name, their ISO code 2, ISO code 3, the continent name, their capital. Then we have this internet host. And what is the total number of internet users in a particular country? So most specifically, we will be using internet user and the country name in our visualization. So let's go to edit button over here. And we will add a new page so that we can create this entire field map from scratch. So in order to add that, what we can do is that we can go to add a chart button. Under Google Maps, you, you have a second option over here says field map. If you click on it, then Data Studio will allow you to add a field map on this empty canvas. Now by default, this field map in Google Data Studio will take the country name or any of the geolocation as your location part in the fields and the color matrix, it will take the count. You have to change it once you start customizing your map. So first of all, what you will do is that you will increase the size or decrease the size based on your requirement in your dashboard. Once you have this map added on your canvas, then the first thing that you need to do is that you need to select the location. Before we go ahead with location, let's discuss a little bit about the state range dimension. So if you have a column in your data set which has valid dates, then by default, Google Data Studio will take that date column over here as the date range dimension. But as in our data set, we do not have any of the dates value so it's blank now the next field is the location and in this you can either select continent also you can select city you can select 
postal codes you can select country name or you can select the geo codes which is latitude or longitude right but for us in this example we are going to select the country name so that we can specifically see how many number of internet users are present in each country so we'll select country name here in our location code and then we are going to select this tool tip so this tooltip is an optional dimension that provides the label of the data by providing a tooltip lets you override the default label which is present in this map by providing the location name or any other name or any other dimension that you want to put as labels so for us we want to show the country name and then we want to show the capital of that particular country so we'll select the capital name here so the column is capital so if we go to view and put our mouse on a particular country then you will see that by default google data studio will show you the country name over here in the map then it will show you the capital name of that particular country and the record count or the matrix value so let's go to edit and select the matrix value also which is the color dimension now this color matrix is also an optional dimension that provides the categories used for the color of that geo data if you choose this option you won't be able to use the color matrix option in the style section which is over here colors right so now in this color matrix section you need to select the data values for example for us it will be the number of internet users right so if i select internet user then you will see that for each country you will have a different field region which will show the density of the internet users on this map now if i go down you will see you have an option to filter and if you want to add a filter for example if you just want to show your data for a particular continent then you can put a filter says select asia as a continent or europe as a continent so let's go and create a filter over here so i'll put test filter as the name of the filter then i just want to include asia as a continent so i'll select continent as a field then i'll put a condition which says equal to and i'll put a value as asia now if i click on save you will see that all of the field region from the entire map will be removed and it will be focused only on the Asian countries. So as we had put the filter, all of the data values or the field map from the maps has been gone and we are only seeing the field region in Asian countries, right? Now if I go to style, you will have this background layer type. The first option is the background layer type and based on your requirement, you can select the satellite type or you can select the map type. If you use the satellite type, it will not make sense because you can see the color or the field region of the map is getting subdue as compared to in the map type of this background layer. In this map type, you will see that the field region comes up more colorful or you will be able to distinguish which country has much more internet user as compared to other countries. So always use this map type as a background layer in field map. Now the next part is the style option. So by default, Google Data Studio will always select silver and there are four different styles of map in Data Studio. The first one is silver, where the entire background you can see is in silver and the names of the countries is in black, right? Now if I select standard, you will see that the entire map color has similar visual effect as the Google Maps, which you see over your phone or over your desktop now the next option is dark where this entire background will have a darker effect and it will change in black and white then we have a last option which is edit JSON when you want to have your own style of Google Maps then you can use this edit JSON and you can put your code snippet over here to select the report theme or the Google Maps theme so we are not going to discuss about this edit JSON part. So let's go to the next part, which is roads. Now, if I particularly zoom on a particular country, then you will see that you have this roads visible over here, right? Let's take an example of India. So you can see that the these roads 
which is interconnecting to each other locations are visible right if i want to minimize this roads visibility you can do it from here you can minimize it or if you do not want the roads visibility then you can basically put it at the minimum level and your road visibility will be gone similarly if you have specifically focused on a particular city or a particular locality and you do not want the landmark to be present over there then you can basically minimize this landmark option also where the entire landmark will be gone right then we have this labels so as you can see that we have this states names by default coming over here in india and if you do not want these labels to be appearing on the map then you can put it the labels option to be minimum so that the labels will be gone and you will be only shown the country name the capital which you have selected over here in the tooltip and the number of internet users now if you want that labels to be appearing on your map then you can put it at the maximum so that you can see the labels now the next part is the layer type so data studio gives us four different options of google map the first one is the bubble map which we have discussed in our previous video in this video we are discussing about field map so if you want this field map to be changed at heat map then you can select from here or the line map you can select it from here but we are going to discuss about the field map area only so we'll select this field map over here now this is the opacity level of this field area so if i decrease it the opacity of the field area will be decreased and if i increase it the opacity will increase based on your requirement you can either increase the field area opacity or decrease it similarly we have this border color if you want to change the border color you can select the border color and you will see that the country's border color has been changed to red and if you want to increase the size of this border weight you can increase it from here now this color section as we have already selected the color matrix as internet user we do not need to select the color option over here in a style section so let's go to the map control section in this map control section you will see that by default google data studio has already selected these four options so let's go and understand what are these options over here so let me uncheck everything over here so this allow pan and zoom will help you or will help your user to zoom in and zoom out on the map on your dashboard and once you have selected this allow pan and zoom you will see that show zoom control will automatically get selected you can unselect this from here but when you select this allow pan and zoom you will see that show zoom control will always appear over here and it will be selected now the third option is the select street view control and if you select this you will be able to use this pigment to drop onto a particular location within your dashboard and you will be able to see the street view from the google maps the next option is the show full screen control if you want your user to have an option to see the full view or the full screen view of the map on your dashboard you can add this one using this show full screen control the next option is the show map type control if you select this you will be able to select the satellite view or the map view or your user will be able to select the map view or the satellite view once he or she is using that dashboard now the last option that we have over here is the show scale control and if you select this your user will have an option or an overview that how much he or she has been zoomed in or zoomed out from that map now the next option that we have is the color legends you can see here that we have our color legend in bottom right now if you want to put it on top or in the left hand side or in the right hand side then you can select it from here so let's select um left okay and you can see that the color legends has moved to left hand side so let's keep it to the bottom only and if you want the alignment of this to be changed to left middle and right side you can select from here right the maximum number of lines if you want two lines three lines or five lines you can select from here the maximum is the five lines and the minimum is one line right now if you want to show legend title you can keep this checklist checked else you can uncheck this and you won't be able to see the 
legend title so for us it's important to show the legend title so that the people can understand we are seeing the number of internet user from each and every country right now the next option is that the legend font color and if you want to change the font color you can change it from here similarly we have this option font size if you want to change the font size you can select from here the minimum size it is 8 pixel and the maximum size is 96 pixel then we have font family of this legend you can select font family based on your requirements so let's select times new roman here and let's select black color by default now if you want to show this legend numbers in a compact form you can check this button and you will see that the internet user numbers has changed into the compact numbers and if you want to increase or decrease the decimal place in this number you can select this decimal precision and your decimal precision will increase or decrease based on your selection now this is a background and border so this background and border is the background of this map so if i select let's say select black color or let's select yellow color you will see that the background of this map or the layer within this map has changed to yellow right and if you want to add a border radius you can add border radius of this entire background as well as the opacity so currently it's 100 percent let's put it into 50 percent you will see the opacity of this entire layer has changed so by default google data studio has selected 100 percent so we'll also select 100 percent and change this background color to reset it then we have this border color and if you want to change the border color to some other color you can select from here then we have this border weight and the type of border style if you want dashed or dotted you can select from here the last option that we have is a chart header if you want to show chart header you can select this always show if you do not want to show the chart header you can select do not show so this is how basically you create a field map in data studio and now as we have created this field map we should have knowledge about the limitations of this field map also so the first limitation is that the limited filled up area so the limited filled up area is up to 1 million so for field map using latitude and longitude fields you may include up to 1 million filled regions so currently we are using countries so we will not have the field value till 1 million so we cannot have 1 million countries right but when we are using cities then we can have 1 million cities from the entire world right so there is a limitation that you can only include up to 1 million field region and by default the maximum number of regions is set to 100k but you have the option to increase it to 1 million based on your requirement or based on your wish now the one of the major disadvantage or you can say the last disadvantage of google maps in data studio is that we are not allowed to drill up or drill down to the city view country view continent view when you are creating this map then you can select country or continent or city but when you have selected this location then you do not have an option to give a drill down view so this is one of the major disadvantage of google maps in data studio but i would definitely recommend you to go and check out the geo charts in data studio if you're looking to provide this specific functionality to your users now if you want to learn about the bubble map you can click on the left hand side of this video or if you want to learn about google data studio then you can click on the right hand side of this video happy learning and see you in the next video